Hey everybody, me and Buster want to say welcome to Little Cahaba Junkin, where we share a whole lot of junkin and even more Jesus. Enjoy our video. Hey everybody, it's me Kayla Friday and welcome back to my channel here at Little Cahaba Junkin. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, it's Sunday afternoon, went to church this morning, um, came home and ate lunch, rested a little bit. And now, since it's so pretty outside, I am going to work in the yards a little bit. I'm just like everybody else. I have let my yard get in a mess. Nobody's perfect. Everything that you see on social media is exaggerated. Nobody's perfect. Y'all just remember that. I've let my yards get in a mess. My house gets dirty. My laundry gets piled up. I am telling y'all, I'm just like everybody else and this yard has gotten really bad. So today we're gonna do a little facelift in our flower beds and we're gonna concentrate on the front. I doubt I'll get the back done today, but I'm gonna take y'all along with me. I am going to incorporate some of our junkin' finds into our flower beds and we're gonna talk about styling flower beds today. As y'all can see, I've really let my yard get in a mess. I have let all of the weeds take over and my pine straw is a mess. I do use pine straw on my flower beds because it's cheaper and it's readily available um, and it kind of goes a little bit further than mulch. So I am gonna take all this, rake it back, prune everything back, pull all these weeds and spray some weed killer. And I also have a few things to plant um, and then we're gonna go through and kind of style our flower beds. Even my flower bed is filled with junk. Also, to try and keep my um, pine straw in place, I went ahead and got some of this non-dig edger here at Walmart. I'm gonna see how that works. Just to try to keep my straw in place, I really wanted to use rock, but it's really expensive. And um, I've tried, you know, looking around like dirt roads and things like that for large rocks, but they're kind of picked over right now. So for now, we're gonna use this um, for 40 feet, it was around 25 bucks. So much cheaper than using the rocks and hopefully it'll give me um, the same result, just keeping everything in place. So, I just had to come in the garage for a break because it's so hot. I just about got too hot, so I'm sitting in front of my fan, cooling off for a minute, but I got the edge laid down. Next, we gotta spray some weed killer. So I've got the border down already looking better and now I am going to just go around the edge here and spray some weed killer this is my um, brand of choice it's called crossbow I get it at our local feed and seed store um, um, you can I'm sure you can get it at like Lowe's or somewhere like that it's a little expensive it's $25 but you don't need but a little tiny bit mix it with water and then I'm gonna put it in my little pump sprayer and just spray right along the edge here and um, avoid any type of grass that you don't want to kill. Do not get it near your plants because this stuff literally kills everything. Okay, and look how nasty, <laughs> look how gross I am. Okay, now I have sprayed my weed killer and I'm gonna go ahead and add our straw back. already looks so much better so I'm gonna go up here clean up the edges sweep everything off and then we'll get to the fun part so now I'm getting to the fun part which is 
I cleaned up and now I'm adding junk. So I think I'm gonna end up putting something right here, but all I did right here in this old wheelbarrow, I actually got this from my mother-in-law who got it out of a dumpster. And I've got an old chicken basket, an egg basket with some cool bed springs and some lantana. I added this um, tobacco stick ladder. And all I've got so far is this old toolbox with my flowers and our little tricycle. So I'm just gonna go down and continue adding junk. Well, y'all, the good Lord provides. <laughs> you know, I said I was hot and it just came with the most monstrous rains, like a monsoon, but it was not thundering or lightning. So I just finished in my garden bed and I know people think I'm crazy, but I was not hot. It was refreshing and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> So I'm, I'm just gonna do this one side of the flower bed today. So this will be a really short video um, and I'll work on the other half of the garden beds and the back throughout this week. Um, but I did get this side done. So I'm thankful for that. But um, the ground is really too wet to do anything else today. So, but I did get this side done and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we did. It's still raining a little. <laughs> But such a big difference than where we started, y'all. And it is a sopping wet mess. But right here, I put my lantana. I will take this down um, at the end of the season and put it in the ground right here because it comes back every year and multiplies. Like I said, this sweet little wheelbarrow was a dumpster dive find. I made me like a little small potting bench right here. Please look. I made me a small little potting bench right here, or a little potting stand. Um, this little white table came from my husband's grandmother's, and I've got some flowers, an old chicken feeder, some um, shrub cutters, and some terracotta. Got that sweet little tricycle, an old toolbox that I've just got planted. I switched out my flowers because the ones that were in there were extremely dead. <laughs> so um, these have been doing better. So I swapped those out and put that cute star right there in front. And I've just got some old spindles in there. Look at the mess, y'all. <laughs> we gotta work on this grass. And over here, I've got a really pretty old cast iron pot and I turned it on its side and planted in it. Um, then I've got an old tiller back there, a bird bath, a cute bottle tree, and then another lantana. So y'all saw the before and this is the after. Ignore this terrible yard, but it's a beautiful day. I'm so thankful for the rain, but I think it looks a lot better and I like to spill my junk onto the outside of the house. Much, much better. And we'll work on the outside, on the other side in the next video. But I hope you get a few ideas. And again, this is a reminder that we're all the same. We all let our yards go, our houses go. None of us are perfect. Have a absolutely wonderful week. Always remember to play in the rain if given the opportunity. Make sure though that it's not lightning. <laughs> and just enjoy your week. Share the love of Jesus with somebody that you meet this week. Um, just be a disciple. Let God use you and your talents. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll get to the rest of the yard in the next couple of videos. See y'all.